He's uh, issued a statement in which he says it is impossible to describe how enormously distressed I am by this situation and I am certainly too ill to attend the House of Lords today. But I think it's important to point out that there were movement on the leadership side as well in this confrontation because uh, what we have had now is a committee that oversees disciplinary proceedings which has suspended him from membership of the party which means he can't uh, take his place with Lib Dem colleagues in the House of Lords. And the reason that there are more disciplinary proceedings against him is simply because the committee has received further complaints about the fact that Lord Renard will not apologise uh, and he was advised to apologise at the outcome of the first uh, bout of months and months long disciplinary proceedings. Uh, Nick Clegg has made it uh, absolutely and abundantly clear that he thinks an apology is uh, necessary and Lord Renard has said uh, that he will not. Now in this statement and it's about two and a half thousand words long um, he outlines what he went through uh, over many uh, years and months. In 2010, for, exa for example, he talks about personal allegations, the depth of depression that I felt and consideration of self-harm is difficult to describe, so I will not do so. But it's, he says that at least two women were subject to some media pressure in an attempt to persuade them to make allegations. And indeed, that's a continuing theme. He talks about a whispering campaign, a humiliating trial by media, a lynch mob mentality from some in the party who knew none of the facts. Further on, he says he felt threatened and bullied by wild rumours that there were many people who were ready to complain against him. And then the key section at the end where he does address the issue of regret and apology. Courtesy has always been an essential part of my moral comp compass, he says. If I've ever hurt, embarrassed or upset anyone, then it would never have been my intention. And of course, I regret that they may have felt any hurt, embarrassment or upset. But for the reasons given, he says, I will not offer an apology to the four woman complainants. I do not believe that people should be forced to say what they know they should not say or do not mean.